Hey guys. Hello. We're back. And we are hands free because we've bought a suction cup. Suction thingy. Uh, if I could show you, I would. It's like basically a tri a mini tripod with suctions on each foot. And the camera is hanging upside down, but it's stable. And we'll flip it around, and all should be good. It's a beautiful day. Uh, and today we've been uh, been out to look at a venue called Clarence House. A wedding venue. Um, so one of our clients uh, is, is getting married at the end of June and um, they've got Clarence House booked as their uh, reception venue. So we've been going over there today to have a look at the venue, get a feel for it. Um, had a look at the rooms, had a look at um, the, the reception area, had a look at the, gar the grounds. Um, we're sort of like mid to end May at the moment so obviously you've got like daffodils and it's still very springy but give it a couple of months and all of the bright flowers should have bloomed and it would look really good. So we're actually meeting up with um, them tonight, we're gonna go through the plans for the day and get the schedule so we know where we need to be uh, and have some drinks and a good time because they're also friends aren't they? Yeah, we get on really well with them. I mean, if it turns up, it'll have I do. something written on it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Hello. Hey, guys. It is... Half past 11. Saturday the... 14th. 14th, yeah. And we are going to see some owls. So we're off to, to Barrow Market Hall. Um, and we'll get to see Charlotte giggling like a little girl when she sees some owls. There was a time when we were outside the IKEA in Edinburgh and they had owls. And um, we were going to, because they let you hold them, didn't they? Yeah. And we were going to do that, but we didn't have any change. So we said, oh, we'll just come after we've finished looking around IKEA. Um, but by the time we got out of IKEA, it had like Blizzard. snowed <laughs> so much that everywhere was completely white and the owls had gone home. So ever since then, we were like, oh no. So there was one that it must have been about if he was two inches yeah, tall. Yeah, he was probably like fit in like the palm of your hand. So I don't know what they're gonna have today or whether they'll let you hold them or anything, but we're gonna go have a look. seeing the owls um, so they were located at the back of the the Barrow Market Hall um, he had about five or six he had two of the little tawny ones which was like the first one I held which is probably only about that big then he had was it two he had two slightly bigger ones that were maybe like that Asian. big then he had a big one that I held like some Asian something yeah. And then there was um, a bigger snowy owl that was probably the biggest one. Hedwig. Think of Hedwig. Yeah. But, um, yeah, she just, just had a little bit of black on her chest feathers. But, yeah, they were all awesome. Very cute. Um, I was a bit nervous, but I, I'm always nervous with any animals. It does fall. Oh, do I just tighten that up a bit? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit weird really. I really like owls, I really like dogs, but I am terrified. still quite, n I'm not terrified, I'm just nervous around animals. Um, it doesn't mean I don't like it or I don't want to hold them. He was like, he was like putting his finger in her mouth saying like, he's, this owl is not gonna hurt you. He, and he was like, yeah, just like put your finger on her beak and you can feel like her breathing. I was like, I'm, I'm good. I can, <laughs> I can just about touch her feathers, but I'm not gonna be putting my hands anywhere near her mouth. The claws look quite intimidating actually. Yeah, on that snowy owl, she had like, Big talons. Well, big as long as our fingers, I'd say. I reckon her ta the talon itself was like the, the tip of my finger. Um, okay, between the but whole... Yeah, but like, imagine like three fingers, that's sort of like as big as yeah. what their, their feet are like. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. The store and they sold all different things and I decided to buy this cute little owl bag. It is cute. It's it only is. six pounds. It was really good value. It was only six pounds. Or they had one that was like imagine without these colour bits. It was a bit smaller like that, and that was five pounds. But yeah, we'll have to keep going back, try and hold some more owls next time, and maybe buy an owl purse or something to go with this. <laughs> I'm happy. They're really light. You can barely feel them. Um, I got a little leather glove to wear and I, I couldn't even feel that, especially with the little one, I couldn't really feel it at all. And the bigger one, I was kind of hoping he wasn't going to put the bigger one on me because it was big and I, it just kept looking that at me. Foot tall. It was, it was like 12, this, 14 this inches big. Tall. And it's just got eyes that are just pure black and just bore into you and I was like, I didn't want to like stare it out in case it thought I was trying to like... <laughs> I'm silly. So now we're on our way to Dalton. Yeah, there's um, a place called Charnley's and I think it's just like a nice little garden centre. It might have a restaurant or something. So I just got out of Charnley's. Yeah. We had uh, we had our lunch there after wandering around for a little while. And uh, I had a steak burger with... Uh, Chips. Twice, twice cooked chips which looked so the most anemic. anemic and uncooked chips you'd ever see. They, they tasted alright though, didn't they? But they just looked, they weren't in the slightest bit brown or cooked looking, but it's quite funny because they're called twice cooked chips. But yeah, um, and I had a steak and mushroom ciabatta and it was nice. Um, but the thing is, I told them, can you not put the mustard that is supposed to go into the ciabatta can you not put it in? And so they didn't, but then they proceeded to put mustard all over the salad. So I didn't eat my salad. And it just blows my mind. Um, for, for me, you know, my burger, it was a double burger as well, even though it didn't say it in the description. So it was- It was a steak burger, wasn't it? Made of um, ground steak rather than like bits. Yeah, it was, it was really, really nice. Really enjoyed that food. So, you know, speaking personally, I certainly recommend it. And we ordered milkshakes. Chris ordered a just a normal chocolate one, and I ordered a mint airy one, um, which and they're made of ice cream, so they're like proper nice ones. Um, and so uh, mine obviously came with cream and like bits of broken mint airy on top. But then I started like tasting my milkshake rather than like the stuff on top, and I thought, oh, it doesn't really taste very minty. It just tastes really nice and chocolatey. But then Chris started drinking his, and he's like, mine tastes minty. And what they'd done is put the wrong topping on the milkshakes, so we ended up like swapping halfway through. No, it was it was nice though. I, I definitely enjoyed that. It was nice, but it's just stuff like that, like putting the mustard on when I said I didn't want it on my thing and stuff like little stuff like that that annoys me but I would still go back because it's really nice 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 um sort of like environment as well yeah it's lovely um and I had paprika chips which were quite nice a bit salty but they were nice we'll have to come back because Chris spotted some cakes that he fancied and he was good and said no today but we will probably come back another time and try. We'll live to cake another day. <laughs> what sort of cakes did they have? Like carrot cake and chocolate cake? Yeah, everything you can imagine. Sounds I good. I think that's the castle. Oh, that built little building down there. We're going to try and find that castle if we can. We're trying to find Dalton Castle, seeing as it's like a really lovely day. Like bright blue sky, not a cloud in the sky. 
this is the sort of weather that we like. So we left Dalton and then we were driving around a bit. Uh, um, basically we're here at Bardsey. We went yeah, we took we're the, at rural the beach. Route. And everyone else has got the same idea. There's like so many cars and there's like the, the biggest queue ever for ice cream. And uh, just feel happy to be alive. living in, well yeah as well. <laughs> happy to be alive but also happy to be living in such a nice area. And I can't wait to get a little doggy so we can bring them here. There's like a little river here. And there's like little dogs that are running around swimming and then it leads to the sea. So yeah, so it's really nice and it's a beautiful clear day. The sky is beautiful blue. So it's absolutely lovely. Yeah, there's like... Like a couple of clouds there, that's about it. So it's uh, it's lovely. The water looks really fresh. It might even be... Can I please see if it's salty? No, yeah, yeah. it won't be salty. It won't be fresh. Dog's taking his frisbee for a swim. This little hermit crab. This water's only about an inch deep right here, so he's uh, foraging for food, I'm guessing. You can see this little racetrack where he's been having a little patrol for food. I think it's a hermit crab, isn't it? It looks more like a slug, like a snail actually. Oh. I can see little antennae. That's cold! That is icy. That's well, not even close to warm. So yeah, so I'm just gonna head our way back home now and, and don't know what we'll do now and just chill out and Yeah. Got <sighs> some exercise. Yeah. Some fresh air, it's all nice. It's been a lovely day. Mm -hmm.